Okay, so a bit of an update with my pulse rifle design. Um, it's uh, all but finished. Um, that's the overall design there. So you can sort of see where I've got to. Um, as far as the functionality, there's um, uh, the magazine. Just uh, trying to make this a little bit easier to show you. So the magazine is removable. Sorry about this. Okay, now the magazine, I've uh, modified the design slightly. I've actually put like three um, actual cartridges in the top of the magazine. So it looks like it's actually holding ammunition. Um, the pump action that also slides back so as the pump slides back it opens the shock the shotgun breech there um, the stock and then the actual Come on, any day now. It's a fairly complex uh, design, so it's actually um, really put my computer through its paces. Um, and that also so you can see the actual breach there opens up as you pull the charge handle back so then you've got your stock that moves in and out okay well anyway so it's not going to do it all right all right so i got the design finished um uh, to a point where i was happy with i actually went internally and made little cutouts and what have you for the switches and what have you to fit so um uh and then started uh, dissecting it and laying out all the parts for the um there we go for the um for the printing design so um i've started printing um so what i started with were the two halves of the magazine and um i printed those and i have actually glued them together and that is it there so um Helping is it? Okay, now you can't see terribly well in this light. Let's try that. So yeah, there's um, the two halves glued together. Um, I've just given them a very light sand up, but you can see there's a couple of cartridges in the top there. So that's that section. Um, then I went on to do the uh, magwell halves. There's the two halves of the magwell. There's the internals, and there we go, a little cut out there for your micro switch, and then on the other side here there was actually, there's actually a duct through there for wiring, a little cut out for a micro switch here, and the cut out section for the Vajenko counter board, so um, I'll show you that little wires out the way. You'll see that the Majenko counterboard fits into place here. There we go. Slots into place there. So that when you see it from the outside you've got your counter numbers displayed. Now there's a little you put a little perspex, a tinted perspex uh, lens in front of that so that uh, it hides the actual display so only the illuminated numbers show, show through so that's uh, that half of the magazine now there's um, you cut out for your little micro switch so your micro switch will actually fit in there like so clips in there perfect so there's your micro switch now what I'll do is I'll show you the assembly of this 
Let's see, I don't tuck these wires in so they don't get caught when I'm trying to put this thing together. So I tuck these wires in here, like so. And these ones can come out the front, like so. Get in there. So hard filming with a bloody mobile phone. If I had a camera on a tripod. Okay, so then you know, the half of the magazine goes on. Um, Magwell. Now, I do have uh, little holes in there for to use like posts to line it all up correctly, but it actually fits together pretty well even without those. Um, the micro switch acts as a bit of a guide to sort of stick that together. So, there you go. So it all closes up and your micro switch is, is hidden in there. Oh, and there's the cut out at the bottom there for a micro switch where the wires are looped up. And the micro switch fits in there perfectly as well. So, and then there's your magazine that fits into the magazine well. So if you put that onto there, it slots into place beautifully. And there's your magazine and magazine well. So, that's that section. Um, so then I went on and I did the pump grip, printed the spaz K, the spaz branchy, branchy, franky, however you want to pronounce it, a uh, pump grip. Um, so that was just done in one piece, printed vertically, and that's come out really nice. Quite happy with that. Um, and the next part I did was I've done the the front section of the. Um, space cage, so which will um, which has a the pump action slide through there. So the pump bit fits into there. That's quite a tight fit, but so. That gives you an idea, so the pump actually slides onto that. Hang on, very awkward. I'm trying to do this one handed. So, yeah, so it's a fairly snug fit, but um, but you get the idea. So, the pump grip slots onto there, and that will actually slide back and forth on there. And so, now I've got the two rear halves uh, to do of this, of the the grenade launcher, so there's the two two halves of the back section. Um, one's on the printer at the moment, and uh, that will finish the sort of spaz cage section of it. There'll be there's an end piece to go on the end there, which gives you your grenade launcher barrel and the dress plate and whatever for the end. So that's uh, a separate part, but I will um, update as I get more done. So so that's where we are at the moment. So. Uh, please keep uh, stay tuned and I'll show you more progress as we make it. Cheers.